Hi fellow Musionites and welcome to Mixed Up Musion Mayhem Episode 4! And today we kickstart things with a nice mixed double set consisting of Helmetless Mega Man and Super Mario teaming up to face Link and Ness. And this battle and all other battles throughout Episode 4 will take place on the Slam Masters LA stage. Hope you guys enjoy and let's find out which Nintendo team is far superior! Ha 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 ha! This should be a really fun double set! Mega Man, Mario, Link, Ness, Round 1, Let's Rumble! Alright, Mega Man throws up a couple fists, ends up catching Link with the boot! And it's like Mario missed the uppercut, Link turns around, butt splash, Link ends up blocking! Now Mega Man, Mario trying to stay with Link, Ness runs in there, grabs Mario, throws him up to the air, Ariel headbutt as Mega Man comes him out of the air with the jump kick! Now Link spamming the hook shot on Mario, catches up! Mega Man with an uppercut, Ness following Link! Now Mario goes to the ground, tornado ends up missing Link as he gets up, charges the Mega Man's hammer, right in the Ness, Ness, right to a hook shot blast, right in the Ness, aerial headbutt, following the PK's North Storm! Amazing teamwork from Link and Ness! And Mega Man off by Link's hook shot, right in the Ness's PK Star Storm Meteor! Awesome chemistry from Link and Ness in round one! Can they repeat that in round two? I hope so! Alright, you'll see Ness starts with an F air, catches Mario. Now Link gets in there, Mario knocked back as Link goes to the boom right, Ness with an N air. Now Link spamming bombs from afar, goes for the flame arrows as Ness with the close combat D tilting. Now Link spams more bombs, Mario with the guns made on the F, following Mega Man Super Fist combo. Link gets in there with the stun line, freezes Mega Man, goes for a fire arrow, taking him out. Now Mario gets caught by the super jump punch. Now Ness grabs Mario, throws him up right to Link's aerial sword slash, and then Ness throws Mario in the corner to his death. And Link and Ness have massacred Mario and Mega Man 2-0, no contest! And I gotta say, Link and Ness are shaping up to be a pretty nice mixed doubles team. They might even be able to take it to Shaq and Falcon whenever they fight them later on. And that's a set I can't wait to see. Anyways, let's get to our 3 vs 3 coming up. Gonna take a sip of some soda, or whatever I got here, water, green tea, it don't matter, I drink it all. Anyways, stay tuned! Whoa boy! Talk about leaping from the frying pan directly into the fire! We have a very vicious 3 vs 3 encounter! We have Team Street Fighter, consisting of Shadow Geese, Boss Sagan, and Shin Bison, going up against Team Final Fantasy, consisting of Squall Lee and Hart, Cloud Strife, and the return of Sephiroth! And I haven't seen him in quite a while, let's see what he can do! Anyways, this battle will take place on the Slime Masters LA stage, hope you guys enjoy! And let's see which team will survive to the bitter end! A forewarning! I might not call this 3 vs 3 set very well, it's going to get very, very hectic with these 6. But I'll do the best I can. Anyways, Team Street Fighter, Team Final Fantasy, this ought to be memorable, Round 1. Alright, Shin Bison gets things going with some energy gas, Cloud knocked out of his short shot by the Cycle Crusher from Shin Bison, Shadow Geese with the Dark Dark Mark, right to a foot kick, right to Boss Sagan's energy knee, good God! And Team Street Fighter, very Team Final Fantasy to learn, now Sephiroth knocked back by Boss Sagan's aerial knee, now Shin Bison doing energy gun right to Shadow Geese with a foot kick, into a Cycle Crusher, good guy's small and low drop, and Boss Sagan uppercuts Sephiroth to his demise! And Team Street Fighter off to a booming start in round one. Let's see if Team Final Fantasy can battle back in round two. All right, Shadow Geese starts with a dark ground pound. They have foot energy kick the Squaw. Now Sephiroth tries to get some long short shots off of Shadow Geese. And Cloud with a busted sword shot and Shin Bison knocking him high up. Now Shadow Geese goes for a big super fist combo on Cloud. Sephiroth gets down with an aerial sword shot on Shin Bison. And Squaw with a big blaster zone shot. Then goes for a super sword combo. Pop showing for a second. Shadow Geese and Shin Bison. Right in the Sephiroth sword slash. Taking him down. Holy crap, and Team Final Fantasy storm right back in round two! And this set's going to round three! Alright, Boss Sagan starts with a big white fireball, Shin Bison gets the foot kick going, Shadow Geese gets the energy shot, gets the street kick, gets a foot kick right to Boss Sagan's uppercut, good god! Team Final Fantasy getting volley, Sephiroth trying to save him, now Cloud with the busted sword slam, now Squall gets in there with the fiery sword combo, Sephiroth with the long range sword shot, Boss Sagan shoots off a white fireball, kicks the ground, and Squall gets in there with the aerial sword slash, now Cloud going in with the big busted sword combo, gets knocked out of it though, Shadow Geese dead, Shin Bison like going for the cycle crusher, catches the ground, now Squall knocked down, Sephiroth buried in the corner, now it's like Boss Sagan grabs Squall, Buster Sword Slam sends Shin Bison sword across the ring. Now Sephiroth powering up the energy meter. Now Cloud grabbed by Boss Sagan, explosive grab, takes Cloud out. Now it's down to Sephiroth, Boss Sagan, and Squall. Let's see if Boss Sagan can come back for him and Shadow Geese and uh, Shin Bison here. Let's see how Squall gets a low kick on Boss Sagan, and that takes him out. Woo! Man, that was excruciatingly tough to call. But Squall, Lee, and Hart and Sephiroth are the only two standing. And they sealed the deal for Team Final Fantasy. 2-1 over Team Street Fighter! Even though Team Street Fighter fell short, I have a feeling they're gonna be winning quite a few 3 vs 3s. Shadow Geese, Boss Sagan, and Shin Bison are all very, very beast. Especially when all three of them stay on it. You saw what they did to Team Final Fantasy in Round 1. Didn't have a prayer. Anyways, 
Squall, Cloud, Sephiroth, they're going to be another very formidable 3 vs. 3 combo. And I can't wait to see how far they go in 3 vs. 3. Anyway, stay tuned for the big 4v4 main event of Episode 4. It's going to be incredible. Stay freaking tuned. We Welcome back, folks, and now it is time for the main event of Episode 4. We have an unholy 4v4 debacle among us, and an unholy union for Team Number 1. We have Shadow Maru and Strider Goat joining forces? Holy crap, hola! I hope Team Number 2 consisting of the Cayman Riders and the Gundams are ready for this. But in the confusion of a 4v4 battle, it really is anyone's fight to win. So, let's get down to the Slam Masters LA ring stage and watch what could be the hardest match of my commentating career to call. <laughs> Help! This 4v4 war is going to be a shitstorm of insanity. I certainly hope I can keep up with this one. This is going to be a real test for my voice. Hurry up, Keiza and Transform, we gotta get to this battle now. Anyhow, let's get right into the ring. Round one. Alright, Strider starts with a big sword cover right in the center of Antonio Grace with a right to go baseball as Halamaru powers up especially here. Now Strider gets a sweet kick off on the camera rise, then the Gundams try to pit him between Goat and Halamaru. Halamaru tries for a sweet kick, Goat misses the sword up cut. Now Shadow Man tries to block the event in Keiza. Now Strider gets him with the sword slash. Now see Halamaru with the sweet kick right in the center of Antonio Split him and finish the kick. Good guy. Catching the Gundams and Camera Riders. It looks like Kate looks like Keiza is dead. As now Strider summons a bomb, blows Wing Zero to his death, and catches God Gundam nicely. Now see uh, Halamaru ends up hammer arming God Gundam right in the center of Antonio Grace sword spam. Play the Halamaru's fire cycle and putting the Gundams down. Oh and the Strider Goat Shadow Maru combo dominate the Cable Riders and Gundams in round one. Round, round two, let's see what happens here. Alright, Goat tries to start with a sword cut, but Wing Zero cuts him down with the Green Bee Blast. Taking Shadow Maru and Strider Goat across the ring. God Gundam tries to get in there, and Cable Rider Kuga knocked back by Halamaru's sword up cut. Now Strider tries to attack God Gundam in the air. Now Wing Zero spamming more Green Beams, catching Goat hard. Ends up following Halamaru in the corner. Now Kuga goes for the dive kick, ends up catching Goat nicely. Now Strider missed the aerial sword slice at Wing Zero. Halamaru gets a jumping sword slice, and now Bicycle kicks the Shadow Man. Now Halamaru gets a big sword cut on one of the Cable Riders on the Gundam. Then a fire cycle right to Strider's bomb! Great team looks for and Strider there! Now Kuga unloads an energy arrow, pops out to Halamaru! Now Shadow Man kind of throws it on the other side of the ring! As the L Strider tries to attack Kuga against the aerial battles! And the Kizzy's beam saber strike! Shadow Man and Halamaru in trouble here! Strider summons Legion to try to help Shadow Man and Halamaru! But Shadow Man's dead already! Now it's down to Shadow! It's like Strider, Halamaru, and Kuga! And Wing Zero! And now it's like Strider's dead! And Kuga brings down Halamaru! Oh man, I'm having a hard time, but Kuga and Wing Zero managed to turn things around in round two. And this set will be forced to round three. Alright, it's like Wing Zero fires off a green fireball, Shadow Man goes to the split of a fish kick, catches the Cable Riders, then the gun, right in the Strider sword combo, man! Great teamwork with Strider and Shadow Man there. Now Goat takes for a baseball slam, right in the Strider sword slice. Now Shadow Man trying to pin the Cable Rider between the split of a fish kick and home owners attack. Now Goat adds on a sword uppercut, good god. Wing Zero trying to spam the green beams, trying to allow the gun and the Cable Riders back in this match. Is he now Kuga tries to power up? Now Goat with a big multi assault gun catching the Gundams in the corner. Actually, Keiza and the Gundams. Now Shadow Man spamming the Shadow Blades on, on, Ke like on Keiza and Kuga taking him out. Oh my god, I'm having a hard time keeping up with this. Now Wing Zero tries to attack Goat. Now it's like Strider attacks Wing Zero from right and puts him away. I do apologize if my commentary wasn't up to par on this one, but you got eight super aggro characters fighting at one time, so it does get very chaotic to keep up. Anyway, Strider Goat and Shadow Maru managed to win their first 4v4 together over the Cayman Riders and the Gundams 2-1. And I know a lot of people were looking forward to Shadow Maru and Strider Goat teaming up. I certainly hope they didn't disappoint. I mean, they were a very, very dangerous force out there. When all four of them got going, when Legion was being spammed, Harbo was spamming the Fire Sword Uppercut, Shadow Man with the Shadow Blades, and Goat with the Sword Uppercuts. Oh man, it's hard to block all that shit coming at you at one time. Anyways, the Camera Riders and the Gundams had a nice outing still. They managed to take a round off those two teams, and that is extremely difficult to do in itself. So props to the Camera Riders and the Gundams for even doing that. Anyways... This is the end of episode 4 of my Mixed Up Musion series. I hope you all enjoyed the matches that this one had to offer. And stay tuned for episode 5, which will be coming up in another week. I have some pretty damn good matches planned for that one. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later. Peace freaking out.